Hi there, this is Dave and today's tutorial is an After Effects and we'll be using Element 3D and the effect we're looking for is basically uh, particle dust. As you can see, this is what we're going for. There's many different ways you can actually um, uh, make particle dust. You can use it with particular, you can do it in 3ds Max using the particle system um, or you can actually use actual stock footage but uh, there's also a way you can create this same effect using Element 3D as well. Um, I'm just going to show you how to do that now. So I'm just going to stop this. And what we're going to do is we're going to start a new composition. Uh, it's up to you how big you want it. But I'm going to start with uh, 1920 and by 1080. Alright, first thing we want to do is create a new solid. Okay, <coughs> we're going to name this... Uh, Dust. Okay. Go to Effect, Video Copilot, Element. Okay, we're going to our scene setup, Primitives, uh, and we want a sphere. Nothing major, just a normal sphere. Material. <coughs> what we want to try and do is change the material to white uh, we're going to change the illumination intensity to 100 and we're going to bring down the force opacity down to 25 uh, turn off the reflection and specular we don't want anything like that no, none of the shininess. Okay, that's all good. <coughs> right, as you can see, we've got our circle, uh, or sphere even. And what we're going to do is go to group one, particle replicator. Uh, we're going to change this to a 3D grid. And we're going to change the, uh, the grid X, Y, Z to 9. nine and nine okay once we've done that we're going to change the the z position to minus 320 doesn't really change much at the moment okay shape scale uh, stay at 10 i'm going to change <coughs> Scale X Y Z to four dot fifty one twenty and finally two thirty. Rotation, we're going to change that to minus eight point zero. <coughs> Not going to see much much uh, difference at the moment. Shape options, yeah, that's fine. Okay, replica effects scatter. Now this is where uh, this is where it starts to change. Okay, we're gonna change the scatter. We don't need to affect any of these ones here. Just this one. It's gonna be fourteen point five. Right, let's close all this down. I'm gonna go to the particle look. Right, particle size is going to be 0 0.05. As you can see, it's just gone crazy now. It's like, well, it's, they're massive spheres, and now they're tiny little dots. Okay. Particle size random, we're going to change that to 91.0. Okay. Right, they should all stay as uh, uh, 1. And just for effect, I'm going to add a another couple more layers in so layer new solid dark blue you don't need to do this but I'm just doing it just to make it clear what I'm doing and another layer new solid black okay Lips tool. Uh, 
mask add sorry inverted and we're just going to feather it out and expand it a little bit <coughs> right it's not looking too appealing at the moment so what we're going to do is add a new camera layer new uh, camera uh, 35 millimeter okay that's fine yeah now we're just going to zoom in okay as you can see we've already kind of got the effect we're looking for and what we want to try and do is basically just just to animate the actual particles themselves so uh, let's have a look where's it gone uh, particle replicator uh, scatter right what we're going to do is we're going to click the stopwatch at the beginning and uh, go to uh, go to the end of the uh, comp and I'm going to change this to around about 29.9 I mean depending on the size of your um, your, your timeline depends on how much you want to use with this one but just play around with it and if we go to the beginning we should already have an animation um, of, of the uh, the particles moving about let's have a look at that there you go I mean it's not moving very fast but that's because if I just press the U key and just bring this in a little bit just to around about sort of here we should see a quite a bit of a difference see it's moving a lot faster now so just bring your bring your um, your keyframe uh, keyframe in just a bit more and zoom in <coughs> and you can see already here it's a lot more reactive uh, the, more, the closer you move in and the closer you change the keyframes uh, I'm just going to ch change this a little bit it's a little bit too bright and kind of correction curves just darken it down a bit just so you can see the particles and like I said you know because this is a um, um, an a, a element you can actually you know move in move out and if you turn on is it, turn on your uh, your motion blur uh, when you move in it, it, you actually see that it's an actual 3d object that's in the actual scene it's not like a um, uh, stock footage or anything like that so okay so that's that done so what we're going to do now is add a glow effect effect Stylize glow. And we're going to change the threshold to 46.3 and the radius to 28. This just gives it obviously a little bit more sort of sort of glow, uh, especially if you've got like um, a very bright scene. Uh, the particles are usually kind of like uh, lit up a little bit by the by the by the uh, illumination of the of the room or whatever it is that you're deciding to use it with. And um, we've got ourselves a nice little bit of glow going on there. And uh, <coughs> what we could do is also add a um, a, a lens flare into into the corner as well. So I'm going to go layer new solid I'll just name this flare ok effect video copilot optical flares ok we're going to go up to the options motion graphics 50 milli, fifty millimeter prime and ok ok brightness is fine ok what we're going to do is change this to a 3d layer we're going to uh, we're just going to change a few of the um, the position settings so we're going to change the uh, the x y uh, to 
and we're going to change the white to around about minus 79 and the Z to 470 so it's kind of just, just up here just out the way I'm going to change the, uh, the layer to a screen ok and that's lit up the scene quite a bit now <coughs> so we've got our um, Got a flare just out, just off the, out the camera a bit, and that just adds a little bit more light to it. You've got your flare there, um, um, and if you're thinking that the uh, the particles look a little bit too a little bit too solid, like they are, what you can do is go into the camera options and turn on depth of field. And that will just blur them out, just just to kind of uh, just just make them look a little bit more realistic. So we just come out a little bit more. No, that's that's fine. So now they look a little bit more realistic. And that is really pretty much it, to be fair. Um, you've now got your animated uh, particles, and you can add as many or as, or as little as you want. You just have to change that in the uh, element. Um, with the uh, with the particle replicator, uh, you've got the grid X, Y, and Z right at the very top. You can just change that. So the default I've put down is nine nine nine. If you want it, to, if you want there to be less particles, just just lower the uh, the amount that you want in there. And that's that's just pretty much how how it goes really. You know, it's it's quite a simple effect. But once you um, once you add it into your scene, you know, you, you can make it look like uh, you you got loads of dust floating around in in a in your room. Yeah, not bad. I mean, obviously, you can tweak the settings and uh, get it how you want it to be. Um, one thing I'm probably going to do very quickly is just add a blur to the um, to the lens flare. Uh, fast blur, and we're just going to change. Change mm, up a little bit. And don't forget to switch on your feet edge pixels. And you can move this around if you need it to be in the scene a bit more. There you go. That looks a bit better. Yeah, so you've now got your, uh, your flare blurred out as well. You've got your particles. And like I said, if you wanted to uh, change the amount of particles you got, just change the uh, these values here. So if you change it down to five. You get just 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 that alone. It's it's uh, decreased the amount of particles you get. But I find that nine is is pretty good because you get quite a lot. And uh, yeah, it moves as well. Just remember to uh, to change the the scatter. Um, <coughs> and if you want it to move move faster, you just bring the uh, the keyframes in. So with you. And just bring the uh, the scatter in, and they'll move a lot faster. Alternatively, you can you can increase the if you want it right up to twenty seconds. You can make sure it's highlighted. You can change that to I don't know sixty, and it will move a lot quicker. And that's how the tutorial goes. So uh, thank you for watching. Um, if you did find this tutorial useful, uh, please subscribe. And um, it really does help me a lot when, you, when people do that. And it makes me want to make more tutorials. So uh, until next time, um, I will see you later. Goodbye.